is a function and why would you want to test it locally? It allows you to attach a code to document mutations. If you're creating, updating, deleting a document, an event is fired, and then you can attach your code to run against that. Why you would want to test that locally is you probably don't want to mutate your documents uh, without making sure that your code uh, is perfect. And I don't know about you, but I, I never make mistakes writing code, right? Yeah, it's like we don't, <laughs> no, we don't never, have to test never. at all now. <laughs> basically, you can go right to the command line and say, I want to test the blue sky function. I'm going to give it this document ID, and I'm going to use the data set of production. And if we go ahead and run that, uh, we can see that you know everything is executed. We get the logs. It's pulled out the title uh, from the projection. It's uh, taken my auto summary and put in the slug for the whole thing. So. There's a Boolean property called local, and that'll let you know if you're running this local through the, the test command or the dev command that we're about to talk about some more. You basically run the script that you just ran, and then basically you can go locally and check this out in the UI as well, right? Because when you have a bunch of different functions and you don't really want to be you know, doing this all from the command line, we uh, have another uh, command that you can run. When you run the, the sanity functions dev command in a, a directory that has a blueprint, print, uh, it will start this uh, web interface for you and you can the, the document section and we can start like adding in our own uh, data for the document, which, you know, is great, but that's a bit of a pain in the butt. So if we just grab the document ID, you can actually fetch that into the interface. So what will happen now, if I execute the blue sky function, the document will have the filter projection applied to it and it'll run the code for us. So we can see that it's you know picked up the title, the uh, the auto summary, and the tag, and it's printed that out for us. When you're testing it locally, it doesn't cost anything, right? Because yeah, no. When you're when you're testing locally, you're not actually executing the the function on the sure. cloud, so you're not being charged anything from Sanity. So it's all executing as part of your uh, local development environment, and yes. we've done uh, as much work as possible to ensure that you're the local execution models the cloud execution as closely as possible. Yeah. Uh, for instance, if you were running a different version of Node than what the uh, cloud is running, then we would pop up a warning to let you know that you might want to switch the version of Node just to make sure oh, that nice. you're- Oh, nice. So that's a nice little hint. Yeah, yeah. You can actually contribute your own recipes exactly like Simon has done on you know, Mastodon or Blue Sky. You can that if you go to slash recipes.